We're playing the hits, Jersey's favorite hits. Uh, speaking of summer, Tough Duty today, broadcasting the big show from the beach as we help in the efforts of the Polar Bear Plunge, all to benefit Special Olympics in New Jersey. And in less than two hours, over 3,300 brave souls will plunge into 37 degree waters of the ocean and raising money for Special Olympics in New Jersey. I'm it's a cold winter's day in Seaside Heights, New Jersey. The beach is hard, the surf is frigid, and the crowds begin to arrive for what has grown to become one of the most anticipated events on the Special Olympics New Jersey calendar, the annual Polar Bear Plunge. No, this is not your average fundraiser. You see, in this crowd are men, women, and children. They come in all ages, shapes, and sizes. They are blue collar and white collar. They come alone, with family, with friends, and with lots of energy and nervous apprehension. Three years, and my son, this is his third year, jumping in for Special Olympics. And the polar bear, uh, he comes with us every year. <laughs> and the girls got together, they went around knocking on everybody's door, raising money for uh, Special Olympics. This is a unique event where you will meet superheroes and real life heroes. The unconventional, the colorful, the outrageous, and the bizarre. And each and every one of this crowd of over 3,300 has chosen to brave 20 degree air and 37 degree ocean chill for a common cause, for a common passion, to support Special Olympics New Jersey. Many quite proud of the fact that they come back year after year. Oh, this is great. It's the best thing in the world. Look forward to it every year. Uh, yes, I, I've done this before. This is my fifth year here. Wonder Woman. <laughs> I was Wonder Woman last year, they remember. Well, it's for a good cause, I love it. We're out here for the uh, Special Olympics, as always. I wouldn't miss it for the world. It's my 13th year. We're here for the Polar Bear Plunge. It's cold every year, but we gotta do it for the, the Special Olympics. It's for the kids. For over 40 years, Special Olympics New Jersey has established itself as an amazing example of what can be accomplished with a unique combination of an energetic special needs population, an innovative and hardworking Special Olympics staff, and a remarkably passionate and involved community. Special Olympics is in over 200 countries, but the relatively small state of New Jersey has become one of its shining and most visible role models, which may well help to explain why this event gets so much media attention. As the crowds and anticipation build, these participants and sponsors know that newspapers, magazines, radio, and television all cover the event, including USA Today and The Today Show. Perhaps the best testimonial to the remarkable growth of the polar bear plunge is that the shore resort city of Seaside Heights, New Jersey, opens up its boardwalk shops, restaurants, and arcades including those usually shuttered in the dead of winter, just to accommodate the thousands of participants and spectators who come just for the polar bear plunge. What better organization to associate your name, your dollars, your support, your organization, your family? We want to welcome you to the frigid, ice-cold world of the Special Olympics New Jersey Polar Bear Plunge. Baby, it's cold outside. This yeah. And a fashion statement, yeah. I'm a barber pole. You want to see me spinning around? Watch this. Oh, no. <laughs> We're here to uh, uphold the law, to right wrongs, and to tell small children to eat their vegetables. Yeah. So we started out with 85 people, $22,000. This year we're well over 3,300 people, and where our goal is for a million dollars this year. Each year we figure we're going to plateau, but it, it, we keep getting surprised by year after year. So. As you can see, people come in with outrageous costumes. Uh, just make it a great day, a party day, and it's all for one cause, and that's Special Olympics New Jersey. Oh, but it's cool.